passing out by the old time. Good morning, everyone. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord here at Grandview Baptist in sunny downtown Murray, Missouri. So we, uh, we're going to get started this morning with something that is just extra super fantastic. And that is uh, we're going to start off with a baptism this morning. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So Elaine is going to get baptized this morning. And it's just going to be like, I'm sorry? We need to move the pulpit. You know what? I think that would be a great idea. Let's just... Let's just do that. Stand by.
Tell you what, Brother John, why don't we go ahead and do our time of testimony real quick while we're waiting on them to... We can do that. Yeah. Then we'll jump into our singing. Anybody have a testimony they want to share this week about what God has worked in their lives there? I, got, I know Sarah had something to say. So real quick, what's yours? So I have a phrase, only a couple people know this right now. I am going off to state, but Special Olympics, I have made it completely off to state, which I feel in volleyball, so I am very excited about it. Um, I go to state um, 20th through the 22nd. And then after state, I'm, I should go to nationals, um, cross my fingers, now. All right, the, the plot thickens there. We've got going to state and then then, then maybe on to nationals, right? Who else has a testimony today? Anybody? All oh, quiet? Yes. Last night I went up to Centralia to kind of celebrate with one of my former church friends who um, a few years ago, the church up in Centralia, the Antioch Baptist, was dwindling down. And they were trying to decide whether to close it or not. And there were two families going at the time. And they called this friend of mine who was a deacon at the church that I went to. And now they're to the point, God has grown them enough that they were to the point, they were doing a fundraiser to expand the building. Amen. And that is just so exciting to see how God so you're saying it's at one point it was questionable whether or not they were even going to continue. Exactly. And and uh, in in God's timing, He has decided to go ahead and expand. It. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Does anybody have another one? I have a praise for Phil and Laura here in Washington. Their church plan stopped, and there were 12 people there. Yep. Really? Oh, man. That may take a little while. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. I didn't know about the uh, the baptisms that they were going to be a part of. Great. Anybody else? All right, well, let's let's sing some. Let's sing there, folks and friends and family. We got some worshiping to do. We have some praising to do because we just baptized a sister in Christ. So Amen. let's stand in honor right. of our Lord and Savior. Turn your hymnals to 560. 560. Wait, no. 573. <laughs> Heaven came down. <laughs> Charlotte's probably sitting over here going, She's what like, what? <laughs> away, Jesus my Savior I met, oh what a tender compassionate friend, he met the need of my heart, shadows dispelling with joy, I am telling he made all the darkness depart, heaven came down and glory filled my soul.
560 m 560 <laughs> oh how i love jesus do we all believe that this morning amen, amen. that's right, right. amen because he first loved us exciting time and and I just want you to know that uh, as you think about life and the life we're living and the life you're living man I often wonder how um, yeah folks without that stability of Jesus um, it's really challenging I talk to people like that I talk to people who are putting their faith in other things you know, I love our government. I served in the Navy. I, 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 love our, I love our country, I should say. I don't always love our government. That's probably not the right statement. <laughs> but uh, I do love our country. I, I love the freedoms we have. I love, I love 
just the beauty of our country and the world. I, th all those are all things. Um, I love working hard. I love doing a lot of things. Um, but, um, man, if we put our faith in anything except Jesus, we're going to be sadly disappointed. Because everything else fails. And I think, you know, I, I, I would invite you to talk to uh, Elaine about just how, how come she decided to become a follower. And it had to do with always believing, but not coming to a place where she really trusted Him. And through the season we've walked through these past several years, God used that in her life. Now, that doesn't mean He caused the pandemic. That doesn't mean any of that. But He used those things to show her, I've got to trust in Jesus. Amen. And so that's so exciting to hear her talk about that last week and then to be baptized today. So we're excited for you, Elaine. And uh, I'm just praying that the new life that you witnessed here can be something in your life. Or well, maybe if you've had it before, but you've let it kind of go away a little bit. Maybe something like this will remind you of the new life we have in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for uh, so many things we see around us seem to be uh, changing. Some of it we like, some of it we don't like. But God, I'm so thankful that you are the constant. You are the one that never changes. <clears throat> Father, thank you. Thank you that you're always wanting the best for us. And it doesn't always seem that way. I know I've been in those situations. But you're always wanting the best. And we celebrated two weeks ago why that meant, what that meant. It meant Jesus loving us so much, giving us something we didn't even need, we, we didn't even know we needed, salvation and deliverance from our sins. And so God, thank you. And may we live as new creations because of what you've done. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Christy, looks like you're up. <laughs> Friends, please direct your eyes forward. Christy Gray here. <laughs> She's going to bless us with a song. Amen. This is for Miss Betty. She asked for But, you know, I just want to thank the Lord that He knew what was coming because He created what was coming. And he, he had a plan for all of it. I just want to thank him for doing that for me.
Rejected 